it spared nothing in its path. And this tornado carried on at ferocious speed for 225 miles. At least four storms in total ripped through six states, decimating entire towns, scattering people's lives. To the people of America, there is no lens big enough to show you the extent of the damage here in Graves County or in Kentucky. Nothing that was standing in the direct line of this tornado uh, is still standing. In Mayfield, Kentucky, declared the ground zero of the disaster, workers were on a night shift at a candle factory. Aerial photos show it before and after the storm. The whole building was just gone in shambles. There's people screaming, people trying to climb out, people who are crushed. Autumn lost sight of her boyfriend. She learned later that he didn't survive. The fact that I should, I should be right there with him is eating me alive because he was right there. And I don't know what happened, how I got out and he didn't. And I just don't know. Nearby, a church houses the homeless. All the rubble I went through, it was like a war. I don't know, like, he was playing like a war zone or something. It was awful, it was so awful. I lost everything in my apartment, even my car. And people that live in the apartment with me, they lost everything too, so. This is plywood that came, that penetrated all of our walls um, that came through. Brittany's pharmacy has been flattened. You have so many people saying, how can we help? But it's almost like, where do you begin? Like. We have to move earth to get all this clear before we can even rebuild. Um, and when you talk about rebuilding an entire community, it's not like two businesses having to be rebuilt. We're going to have to rebuild a community. And Mayfield is just one of many dozen communities now living under a state of emergency, still counting the missing, confirming the dead, feared to number more than 100. Tessa Chapman, Five News.